and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Theros Beyond Death. It is here. We're going to be playing some standard today, but first we need to crack some packs. And so just like last time, um, just like with Throne of Eldraine, we have a ton of packs here. We got 165. Let's see how many um, mythics and wild cards that we open up from the set. And hopefully a lot. And then hopefully we won't have to use as many wild cards on the rest of the set. So here we go. Opening packs beyond death. That is that is correct. That's what we got going on here. Let's go. So we're gonna we're gonna start by cracking them open one at a time for a little bit. And then we'll start, then we'll do 10 at a time. Because we won't do all 165. But we got a brand new set. Let's see what we get. First, as you can see, a couple of these I, I used some some wild cards on already. Mantle of the Wolf. All right, not the best pack. Tectonic Giant. This is, I'm calling this one of the best cards in the set myself. I think Tectonic Giant is awesome. Some people think I'm overrating the card, <clears throat> but I think this card is really, really good. And one of the very best in the set. Just a rare, and there's a Grey Merchant. Thrix, also one of the best cards in the set. This one's a legendary creature, uh, kind of holding it back, but still, it is awesome. So yeah, there's two, two really good rares there. Okay, Archon of Sun's Grace, a good solid card. Not one of the very best in the set like the other two, but a very good solid Archon. Thassa, the first mythic, is Thassa. Thassa is awesome. Talk about one of my favorite cards right there. Let's get our counter going. One mythic opened. Best mythic in the set, says Twitch chat. Bleh. I'm not a huge fan of the interventions. We'll see how much play they, they actually see. I'm not a huge fan of them. Okay, we got a rare wild card. So you can kind of do the math afterwards of like how many mythics. Um, <clears throat> and uh, like with that, like, you know, how many regular rares we did and everything. I'm not going to put the counter down for each each rare that we opened. We did that last time. We had like a rares column and changed it after each rare. Wait, which one was the best rare? Shatter the Sky. Now that's a good card right there. What card did we open that y'all are saying was the best rare? <clears throat> oh, the rare wild card. Oh, okay. Right. Delacos, Crafter of Wonders. It's just a cool card right there. All right, so 10 packs in, we got one Mythic in 10 packs. That's not a very good. Kurinos, the puppy dog. Not very good stat so far. We should have one mythic every eight packs. That's like the that's like the math. It should be one in eight. Eat to extinction. Really good removal spell. Alright, our first temple is the Temple of Abandon. We're going to be using that one later on in a team or ramp deck. And our next Temple of Enlightenment. I really like this card. I like this card a lot with, with uh, Thassa also. <clears throat> and a Mythic Wild card. All right, um, we'll do we'll do ten more, and then we'll start going by tens. So we'll do twenty five singular packs. Enigmatic incarnation. This is gonna be a fun card to to brew, to brew around for sure. That's gonna be a, a fun one. We'll be playing that card. Well, to be honest, I mean, we're playing all of these cards. 
<laughs> There's probably not any cards that we, that we won't play. Dream Trawler. Yeah, so we got three decks for today uh, right now, which we'll probably play a fourth deck also, but we've got three built. One of them's like a donation deck that doesn't have very much actual Theros in it. Terranica. Where's our Mythics at? They still just have one Mythic. Show tiers? Like the like what decks are good and what decks aren't? That is... If anybody says that they think that there's anything... Like they know tiers, they're just completely lying to you. <laughs> like, it's the first day of the set. That's not, that's not anything you can really determine until a couple of weeks. You cracked 34 packs and you just got one mythic? Man, they're stingy on these mythics. There's a mythic, Ashiok. <laughs> Welcome to my domain, Plains okay. Walker. Thank you. Um, I am in your domain now. Ah, uh, another Perforos intervention. All right, last singular pack. Satessan Champion. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to make Satessan Champion decks. And that's just ETB, so if you start flickering with Thassa, you keep drawing cards. <clears throat> All right, so we didn't do a very good job with the one at a time. So in 25 packs, we only got four non-rares. Let's open 10 at a time. There you go. So you got you to gotta click the open 10 at a time. We got two Mythics. And we got Euro... And Calyx. Oh man, I need to make a Calyx deck. Alright, so now we're up to four Mythics. And a second rare wild card. Whoa, Strider. Oh no! Wow! Just shut out. Just all all rares. Shut out. No mythics. Never mind. Maybe the open 10 isn't good. What? Whoa, look at all those wild cards. Mythic, mythic, mythic wild card. Whoa. That bumps my total up to 15. Wow, that's a lot of Mythic Wild Cards. Uh, that gets me up to four. We've opened as, as many Mythic Wild Cards as actual Mythics. So, like, mythics are supposed to be one in eight. Mythic Wild Cards are like one in 25 or one in 33, something like that. Another one. And an Elspeth. Our first Dryad. So we got it. Got another Elspeth, so that's five. <laughs> All right, we got 100 more packs. We're 65 packs in. Just one Mythic the Ox. Oh, plus one rare wild card. I missed a, a rare rare wild card. All right, so up to three there. See, thank you. Y'all, y'all have to help me. <clears throat> Man, just one mythic again. Out of the ten, but another dryad. I really like this card. Just Atris. Just in general, like just a really cool card. Labyrinth should be pretty sweet. Phoenix of Ash is awesome card's really good. All right, Croxa, our seventh mythic. Well, we just got a mythic wild card there and here. 
you know, we just got one from the, the wheel. So that's two, you know, but we're only counting. Like, so we opened up one mythic wild card and then a bunch of rares, a lot of first rares in here. We can conquer some death. We were going to dance endlessly, but then this Eidolon obstructed us. All right, so we got six mythic wild cards and four rare wild cards. Mythics. One. Our first Temple of Malice. Another Ashiok. <laughs> We've already capped on Terranika. Got another Storm's Wrath. Another mythic wild card. And a Calyx. Wow, we are we're doing like just as good opening up mythic wild cards as mythics. Three more temples. That's good. There we go. Okay, at least we got two mythics this time. I thought it was more, but yeah, we got another Crook, uh, Crooksa, and a Polychronos. We got 11 Mythics now, and a rare wild card. Five of those. Hactos. So no temples this time, but two mythics and a mythic wild card. We'll take that every time out of, out of 10. So two more mythics gets us to 13. A mythic wild card gets us to eight. <clears throat> our finally our first nightmare shepherd. We need these. We need to get more nightmare shepherds. This is a pretty good 10 though. Um, the boar isn't so great, but you know, like, uh, the rest of these pretty good. Perforos ox. All right, our first Ancient. Have we maxed out on on Croxa? Yeah, best Temple, Temple of Plenty. This is a good one. So we got two Mythics, 15, and another Mythic Wild Card, nine. Yeah, Croxa's probably pretty good. We're at 101% of our vault. 20 more packs. Just one mythic. Clothius. Oh yeah, we're going to have to make Clothius deck. Man, so many cards, so many cards to make. So many cards to make decks for. No temples. Oh, a rare wild card. Six of those. All right, last 10. So what did that bump us up? That bump us up 7.6% of our vault. There we go. Three mythics and a mythic wild card. There we go. And a tectonic giant, another temple of plenty. Woe Strider, Shatter the Sky, Kuranos, Ashar. Like, all these cards are good. Like, this was just 10 good cards. 10 good cards. You think I missed what kind of wild card? You think I missed a, a wild card at the start? So we finished with 10 Mythics wild cards, 19 Mythics. You think I missed a rare wild card the early earlier? Maybe I did. It's possible I did for sure. So yeah, 160 packs, 10 mythic wild cards. That is awesome. Let's see what cards that bumped up the wild card a whole bunch. So I had 10, I had 10 mythic wild cards before we started this. I guess I should have shown that. I think I had, I had 53 and 10 as far as rare and mythics. I had 18 and 18 
Com I had 18 common, 18 uncommon, 53 rare, and 10 mythic. Um, so with the wheel, you know, with the wheel counting and everything, we gained from 165 packs, we gained 15 mythics, which you probably, probably not going to normally gain that many mythic, uh, wild cards. And then we gained 29 rare wild cards. And then a whole bunch of common and uncommons. And then the vault went up another one. So the vault was going up about 7% for every every 10 packs. But yeah, we can crack that open. So let's take a look at our Theros collection. Ugh, all these news. Just a second, I'm just going to clear up all this new stuff. <clears throat> let's see what cards we still don't have at all. And we'll see what cards we have four of after I clear this up. Clearing it all up. Do, 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 do. Castle Ardenvale. What are you doing? Oh, I just okay. I was just showing the new cards first. <clears throat> All right, so let's go with rare mythics that are not collected. So these, these are ones that we didn't get any of. Now some of these are are not part of the set. A lot of them aren't. So we did. We got no Kiora, best the sea god. Um, no Timurit, calls of the dead. That's a rare. That we didn't get any of. Storm Herald's part of the set. Got no, none of those. That's not. Uh, no Arastas. I like Arasta. And no Allure of the Unknown. So there was like four rares that we got not zero of. Another Mythic Nylea that we did not open. And there we go. I think that's about it. So those three... And uh, Timurit and Storm Herald and Kiora Best, the, the Sea God. So, those six cards we got zero of. All right, but we got four Eidolon of Instructions, four Terranika, four Elspeth Conquers Death, four Protean Thaumaturge. Four Ashiox Erasure, four Ephemia, four Woe Strider, four Storm's Wrath, four Perforos' Intervention, four Temple of Enlightenment, that's good, and three Temple of Deceit, four Ashiox. Um, four Hactos, four Enigmatic Incarnation. Temples we did pretty good on. We did four, three, three. Is it right there? So four, three, and then three, three, two. Okay. So there we go. So that was from 165 packs. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play some Theros now. That's what we're going to be doing. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, um, hit that like button and let me know how your pack opening went. If you had a you know, similar experience, like, you know, what did you open up a lot of? What what cards did you not open up? Um, you know, how many wild cards did you get? All that kind of stuff. Leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for our next video.